Hello and welcome to Qualys Pro Tips. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to transform Qualys data once you have API connectivity, because some of it will be formatted in a way that's not initially BI tool friendly. So we need to make a few adjustments to help get the most from the data. Now, if you get value out of this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. I'll be starting from the point where I've just gotten API connectivity established using Microsoft Power BI. And if you're unsure how to get to this point, please see my other video on pulling VM data via API using Power BI. Now you'll see here in the navigator, we have a response table. And if we open this up, you see you're just gonna see a date and time and a host list table. I briefly went over this in the other video. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of expound upon that a little bit here. All right, so now we have the response table here and we're gonna go ahead and break this out. You can see we have a host table within the host list table. We can use the original column name as a prefix. All it's gonna do is put hostlist.host. .host. I'm not gonna do that. Say okay. Now we're down to host. Expand this again, and here we have all the vulnerability information, at least the top level stuff. Again, we're not gonna use the original column name because we just wanna have the straight column IDs as they're listed here. Now, of course, I don't have a lot of data in this lab environment. So it's gonna load up a little bit more quickly than maybe what you have. If we scroll over, you're gonna see other columns that we can expand if we want to. Here's some table data under DNS. There is detection list. This is the meat of it. So we're gonna expand that. And then we're gonna expand it again. And here we go. Now we get more rows broken out per host as we get into each individual vulnerability finding. Now, one of the challenges you're gonna see here is that this data is not gonna be formatted in a friendly way to be used within Power BI. For example, the dates. So we're gonna to wanna to transform those into something more friendly. So if we select them and we can say, transform, replace values. And I'm going to look for a delimiter here. I'm gonna find T, replace it with a space. Okay. So now we got that separation and we're gonna do the replace values again. And I'm gonna look for Z or Z and replace it with nothing. And there we go. Now we have the uh, date time separated. Now, if we go and close and apply, And now we have our data loaded. We can go over to these date time columns that we've just formatted. And if we click on the column, right now it's gonna to default that the data type is text. We're gonna change it to date time. And we're gonna say yes, that we wanna continue. And you're gonna see, boom, now it, now it looks different. And then we have to do these one at a time. And you're gonna notice over in our data pane over here, right? The, the icon in front of those data sets are changing. And we have a first found date time, last test, last update, last processed date time columns that we could also go in there and format the same way. And that's the end of this video. I hope it was useful and stay tuned for more videos to come. Cheers, everybody.